yeah, I'm out here to the field and uh, waiting for batteries to charge. And uh, I watched a little show this morning on uh, TV about uh, bullying. And uh, there was like um, one school and uh, they had like seven kids had committed suicide. And uh, you know, a lot of it is concerning from, from bullying. It uh, brings these kids' self-esteem down to nothing, to that they feel worthless. And, uh, you know, and they do drastic things like taking their own lives, you know. It, you know, there's a lot of that going on today. But it's really, it's really nothing, it's really nothing new. Um, I've been out of school since 72. I don't know, I, my math ain't working this morning. It's 40-some years ago. And uh, bullying was big back when I was in school, 40-some years ago. Uh, I was bullied really bad when I was in school. And, uh, you know, a lot of times the uh, uh, these kids, and it always seemed like it's the popular kids. A lot of times the people, are, the kids that are involved in sports, they tend to be the, the heroes of the school. And uh, they tend to sometimes think it's fun. You know, they do things to you. Um, you know, I remember things like being shoved into a locker and closed on it, trying to get out. Um, and this wasn't just guys, this was girls too, you know. And, uh, you know, this, they thought it was fun, you know. A little, I'm not a, not a big guy. Back then I was a really little guy. I was less than 100 pounds, you know, in high school. And uh, But, yeah, they, they thought that was a good time. You know, I had things done... Uh, I remember one time in the uh, home ec room being shoved into a, a lazy Susan cupboard and spun around by some girls, you know. And uh, they thought that was fun. That was a good time for them. But that was bullying, you know. A lot of times uh, what these kids and even adults think is a fun time picking on someone, for them it's a fun time, but it's not a fun time for the person that's being picked on. You know, and uh, it, like I said, it went all the way back in the 70s. It was prevalent, you know. Yeah, so, you know, and that lays with you, you know. Um, here I am, I'm uh, coming up on 65. Never forgot those days. Um, and it's formed my mind on different things that, that through my whole life, you know. Um, just take sports for one thing. I can't stand sports, you know. And I think it, a lot of it came back from the days when the, the sports kids uh, would bully me and, 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 you know, it just, it stuck six with you, you know. So I don't want any part of that thing. And I know a lot of you would say, well, you know, it's not every kid, not every sport. I know, but it still works on you. And uh, I'm more talking about uh, kids today, you know, I mean, Hey, I made it through life. I'm 65, you know. It made some effect on it, but you know, I don't live every day about thinking, oh, they bullied me back in school, you know. It's not a, a, a woe is me thing. It's just a, a fact, <laughs> you know. And, uh, you know, and I've gotten over it, but some things do stick with you. And, and you know, uh, kids today uh, need to learn that, uh, how dramatic uh, it can be for uh, Sewing and how long it can last with them. Got water dripping here out <laughs> of the shelter. Uh, and, uh, but, anyways, they need to uh, uh, realize what they're doing. And it can be a dramatic thing that some kids uh, go as far as even uh, committing suicide. You know, that's uh, just about as far as you can take it, you know. And uh, I don't know they need to, uh, uh, anybody, whether it be a, a, a young person or even an adult person, think about what you do to someone else. And uh, uh, it could be bullying, you know? And uh, it's just not a uh, not a great thing to uh, to do to anybody. So, you know, I just thought, uh, this was on my mind because I saw that TV show this morning, you know? So this isn't something that I dwell on. <laughs> but uh, it, uh, and I thought I'd just say a little something about it, you know? If, uh, if anyone out there Consider if they you think you might be bullying, quit right now. Quit, you know. Uh, the uh, it's not uh, it's not fair to the person you're bullying. So okay, that's my peace of mind. Uh, my batteries are getting close to being charged. I'm gonna gonna fly a 
FPV plane today. It's sitting right behind me. I didn't even realize it. Uh, this has uh, a camera in it, and uh, I can see by goggles and fly around like almost like a real airplane, but hope it's not getting too cloudy. Yeah, uh, sunrise, and uh, they're calling for uh, storms today. Look at this front moving in here. It, uh, you can definitely see the uh, uh, st storm. It's actually a cold front coming in. And uh, they say this one will be fairly dry, but it's going to uh, go down like towards Miami and stall. And it'll come kind of hang there pretty much all next week. But uh, interesting to uh, watch these fronts coming in. So it's going to be cloudy out here today. I'm still going to try to do a little bit of flying. But, uh, pretty some beautiful sky there, especially with it coming in over top of the... Uh, uh, the clear area and the woods over here. I wanted to show you how this front is moving. You know, I just, the clip a minute ago, it was kind of like, like uh, over in this area here was the front of it. And uh, look at it now. It's uh, encompassed the flag. Pretty sight, beautiful sunrise and the flag flying in the background. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's moving in. Uh, it looks like today's going to turn out to be a cloudy day, so we're going to play it by ear out here this morning to see what the weather does to us on it. But uh, one thing to do is to really enjoy the uh, beautiful sky coming in. I love sunrises and sunsets. Thank you. 